in some ways, the modern human is certainly at an advantage with regards to their intellect compared to the people of the past. Now, these are very significant ways that they are in advantage compared to the people of the past because we have access to information that people of the past did not have and additionally we have access to resources that can provide us information that is readily available to the global population at large via the internet and we have access to that very easily so these factors certainly give the modern human advantages with regards to what they know which can be taken to some degree to provide some indication of total intelligence however in the past people were far more knowledgeable about things that were regarding culture, history, mythology. People were extremely well versed in these areas, whereas today people know almost nothing about these things. You can easily find interviews on YouTube where the interviewer asks the interviewee pretty easy questions and these questions are regarding recent history and the interviewee most often is unable to correctly answer the question. So with regards to that, humans of the past were vastly superior to the modern human. So the type of knowledge that they knew regarding that is simply different. Nowadays, we tend to know things that people were not able to know in the past because scientific capabilities were not advanced enough at that point for them to be able to understand the types of things that we are able to understand now. And additionally, I was going to say something, but it kind of slipped my thought for a second. Oh yes, the reading and writing level of the average Westerner has been decreasing year over year. And you can see this by examining the language that politicians use. Nowadays, they tend to speak in a much simpler way of expressing themselves compared to how people would express themselves in the past, how they would express their ideas and concepts that they want to implement. In the past, they would discuss their ideas by using a college level of language. But in the modern day, politicians will use an elementary school level of language. And if you ask me, that's a real shame. It also makes one wonder, at least it makes me wonder, why is this the case? There could be multiple factors for it, such as social media use, along with just general convenience in life making people choose to indulge in short-term gratification in things that will give them instantaneous pleasure rather than putting a little bit of effort into researching these more intellectual concepts and actually learning things because that takes effort compared to uh, putting no effort or almost no effort into feeling good 
a lot of people will rather choose the latter option, which I think is unfortunate. And it's clearly statistically proven that people who indulge in too many short-term pleasures tend to have a lower quality of life, particularly with regards to whether they view themselves as having anxiety and depression and these sorts of things. So even though they think that they're better off by doing what they're doing and living as they're living, the fact of the matter is, is that actually they're not better off doing that. And that's backed by the data. So if you enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe down below. Basically, the point is that humans are not smarter now than humans used to be. The only difference is that now we have access to some information that people didn't have before. But with the information that people did have access to in the past, people were generally much more knowledgeable about things compared to now. And I'm just speaking in generalities. It totally depends on the area and it totally depends on the trade of the person. For example, if they were simply a craftsman, then most likely they would not necessarily be as learned about culture and history and these sorts of things as somebody who has a profession more related to an intellectual field or an a field that is mostly based on thinking and making decisions rather than simply performing repetitive and monotonous tasks although i can't say that it's repetitive and monotonous because sure there's a great variety of tasks but the reason why i use those words is because the variation in the problems that occur in that type of field tends to be pretty similar so you're kind of just applying the same solutions to slight variations of the same manner of problems so they don't need to have a vast array of information at their disposal in order for that but they might still be very even these people would still be very learned as well, I think, because they didn't have things like the television to provide them entertainment. So how do they get entertainment? Oftentimes it was through learning. People love to learn. And honestly, learning feels good. It's just that people choose generally not to learn these days because there are other things that feel even more good available for less effort and they're extremely convenient and extremely very available for us to use with expending almost no effort anyways leave a like subscribe if you enjoyed the video this is kaizen which is japanese for daily improvement i'm out peace